Hi friends. I'd like to talk to you today about characters and setting. Now every story has characters. Characters are the people and sometimes the animals that are in the story. It could be a real story, something that really happened, or it could be a made up story. But every story will have characters, the people or the animals that are in the story, that are doing things in the story. Those are the characters, who the story is about. Now the setting can be a place that you can go. The setting is where they are. It could be a house or a store or maybe um, a playground or something like that. Some place that you could go or you could be. That's what the setting is. The setting is where the characters are. Okay. Another part of the setting is um, when. So where or when. And I'm going to draw a quick little clock here to remind you about that. When. Like when. What part of the, what time of the day it was. Was it morning? Was it afternoon? Evening? That kind of thing. So what type of what time of day? Was it lunchtime? Was it at recess? Was it um, when it was time for a nap? What 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 time of day was it? So the setting can be where or when. What time of day? But also. I'm going to draw a little calendar here. And the calendar is to help you remember that it could be the time of year, like a season. It could be winter, could be fall, could be summer, could be spring. So the setting is not only where the story takes place, but what time the story takes place, what time of day or what time of the year. All right. Remember those two things because your writing assignment today is going to be, for one, you're going to go back to your list that you made. Okay. We're going to go to your list, your list that you made and look at it again and uh, that you made of your possible topics for your personal narrative you're going to pick out what you want to write about. Now remember, it has to be something that happened to you, okay? There has to be a problem and a solution. So you're going to choose one topic out of your whole list, just one thing, the one thing that you really, really want to write about that happened to you, okay? And let's, for example, I think I'm going to write about um, the time that it rained when I was camping. So this will be my topic rainy camping, okay? Um, if I were going to write about rainy camping, I might say that, let me erase these things first. Now, if I'm going to think, I'm thinking in my mind about when it rained when I went camping, and that was definitely a problem. That was something that happened um, that was a problem, and that wasn't good. Um, Let's see, I'm going to write, I'm going to make a, a little quick plan here. The characters, I was there, and my best friend was there, and her name is Charissa. I'm going to label her, so I don't, I don't want to forget who these people are. And then also, um, she brought her two dogs camping, so I'm going to draw the two dogs. And, and you see, I'm just, I'm just doing a quick little drawing. Um, one of her dogs was named Bella, and I'm not sure how to spell that, so I'm just going to put a B. And then I'm going to write a little over here. His name was Rico, so I'll put an R, a B and an R. Okay, so that tells who, <clears throat> excuse me, who was in um, 
who is in my story? Who who was there when this happened to me? All right, the setting, I'm going to draw um, a tent to show that I was camping. Um, so it was at the campground. I'm going to put camp there. I'll label that. Um, and it was in the summer. I'm going to put a sun for summer, and I'm going to write summer. And also, it was overnight. So I'm going to draw a moon, and I am going to write night because it was nighttime. You see what I did there? It was nighttime during the summer, and it was at the campgrounds. Okay, I didn't write anything else about what happened. I just wrote the characters, who was there, and the setting. But looking at this, you can tell a lot of information because I put pictures and labels. That's what you're going to do today for your writing assignment, and it's in Seesaw. You will pick out your topic, and then you're going to start planning it by drawing pictures and labeling your characters and your setting. Okay, that's what you're going to do for your assignment today in Seesaw. And then send it to me because I'm really excited to see uh, your um, planning for your stories. I'm excited to read them once they're done, but this will give me a chance to give me, it'll give me a sneak peek as to what you're going to be writing. <laughs> I'm excited.